Hi there, Chevy owners. Today in your 2012 Chevrolet Silverado, we're gonna be taking a look at and showing you how to install Roadmaster's Nighthawk tow bar. Now, when you flat tow your vehicle, there are five main components that you're gonna need when doing so. You'll need your base plate, which is the connection point for your tow bar on your vehicle. You'll need your tow bar, which is the component that connects your vehicle to your motorhome. Your safety cables, which is a supplemental connection in addition to your tow bar. You'll need your diode wiring, which takes all the lighting signals from your motorhome and transfers it to the lights at the back of your vehicle so people know your intentions when going down the road. And your supplemental braking system, which will apply the brakes in your vehicle when you hit them in your motorhome to help you come to a safe stop. And this is what our tow bar looks like when it's installed. It pins into the hitch on the back of your motorhome and connects to the front of your vehicle by attaching to the base plate. It's designed to work with any Roadmaster base plate and it will connect directly to the front of it there. If you have another manufacturer's base plate though, such as a Blue Ox or Demco, you can get different attachment arms here on the end to make sure that you can connect to those place, base plates. And you can buy these kitted here at E-Trailer with the appropriate ends for your base plate so you can get that already ready with the parts you need right out of the box. This one here is set up for all Roadmaster. We got a Roadmaster base plate on there so we're using the regular Roadmaster ends. The Nighthawk is the flagship tow bar from Roadmaster. It's got all the bells and whistles. It's got a nice matte black textured finish on it with channeling to keep all of our cables and wiring up off the ground. It keeps everything together so it looks nicer and it's easier to maintain. It is a non-binding tow bar and that's what these arms here function as because when you go to pull off with your motorhome here after you get your vehicle in flat tow mode, the tow bar is self-aligning, so it will automatically track your vehicle right behind you. The arms will extend and lock into place. Once you reach your destination and you go to unhook your vehicle, those arms being locked into place can be quite difficult to remove your pins. If you're not on perfectly level ground like we are here, which most of your campsites aren't, they're usually a little bit different on uh, when you're parked on them, by pulling up on this lever, it releases the arm from its locked out position and it puts just a little bit of play in it. That little bit of play makes all the difference to being able to remove your pin versus it being stuck in there. With your Nighthawk tow bar, you not only get your tow bar, but you also get your safety cables and your wiring. It all comes included. So that's just some less components that you have to think about purchasing when you're trying to set up your vehicle. You also get the six-way connector at the front of the vehicle here as well. So that way you just need to pick up some diode wiring to get it all installed. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights in the motorhome here and you'll see that this will illuminate down the side, giving you extra visibility at night so people know where, where you are and they don't try to pull in between your motorhome and your vehicle. And here we can see those lights lit up and that's gonna just increase your visibility at night so people know where you're at when you're going down the road. No chance of somebody like a motorcycle or something trying to sneak in between you when they're flying down, anything like that. And it makes the tow bar just look nicer as well. Our tow bar will simply insert into the receiver here at the back of our motorhome. Line up the hole in your tow bar with the hole in your hitch and then you can secure it with the included pin and clip. Make sure to put your clip on the other side to keep it in place. And when you're not using your tow bar after you've disconnected when we lift up on it, the head of the bolt here will fit inside of the latch there, and that'll lock it in place, and then just choose a direction, whether it be the driver or passenger side, and your arms will go off in that direction. You can then take your cables and just wrap those up around your tow bar here to keep them up off the ground. We also have storage bags available here at E-Trailer, so you can kind of keep everything nicely tucked in that bag, keeping your stuff off the ground a little bit more secure, and just protect your tow bar from the elements when it's not being used. And that completes our installation of Roadmaster's Nighthawk tow bar on our 2012 Chevy Silverado.